now and then you see bee swarms, bees swarming, not making honey. They just they attach themselves to like your house, your porch, your car. Here's one. Look at that. Got in somebody's car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't got to get the beekeeper to come out and find the queen. And anyway, swarming bees. I mean, I'm tens and tens and thousands and thousands, billions. We first saw this story on Philadelphia Magazine's Instagram account. So what's going on? Apparently, these bee swarms are cropping up throughout the Delaware Valley. So what do we do about it? Who do you call? Hank is live at Greens Grow Farm in Kensington. Hey, Hank. Hey. In Kensington, good morning, guys. Listen, that's why I love being here because it's beautiful. It's heaven in the big city. But to your question, Mike, what do you do about it? Well, you call up Don Chump in Philadelphia Bee Company because he knows the most about it. Don, talking about swarms showing up in different places in your car, uh, outside in the back garden at your house, what do you do when you see one? The first thing, I guess, is to not panic. No, absolutely right. So swarms are the most docile you will find honeybees. When honeybees swarm, they're actually trying to make a new hive. And so the old hive ran out of space and it split. And so the old hive makes a new queen, new hive goes off to find a new spot to live. All those bees are loaded down with honey. And so when they're loaded down with honey, they don't want to sting anybody. That's amazing. And it's not just these bees, guys. Don's company uh, will come out and respond to anything that flies and stings the way he says. Actually, Mike, you'll get a kick out of this because you're a gourmet. He's the only guy that makes uh, spotted lanternfly honey. Yeah, it exists. <laughs> anyway, um, give me a short little bit about that. I can't believe that exists. So so honey, <laughs> a spotted lanternfly honey is actually a honeydew. So the lanternfly predate on trees, and they're after the amino acids, but they can't use the sugar. Right. And so they excrete sugar water, the sap comes out of the trees, the bees collect all of that, and they make this dark, smoky, delicious honey out of it. And we call it, or we call it doom bloom. And you can get it at better restaurants, but the honey that we know about when they're swarming um, what is it that they're actually doing and, and 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 what can we do to either help them or at least keep ourselves at what we would perceive to be a safe distance from them because a lot of people are actually allergic to it you know and, and certainly and people get really nervous about this but again like you know when you see a swarm of bees when beekeepers wear bees on their faces sure. and do be what we call bee bearding that's a swarm and so swarms are really gentle. The bees are trying to find a new place to live, so they're sending out scouts who are gonna dance on the side of the swarm to tell the bees, hey, we got a new place to go, we're all gonna move in there. And so the swarms will usually only stay for a few hours, but if you see one, that's free bees for beekeepers, and we can take that and help bolster the honeybee population. They make an incredible civilization, these bees, and Don knows because, guys, he puts them up on top right across the street from Greens Grove here. Uh, he's got hives up on top of there, and he says they serve everything green within a mile and a half radius he says research tells him that one of their favorite places to be is out on graffiti pier believe it or not so at the end of the day uh the bees are not a nuisance to us it's quite the opposite we need them very badly to sustain ourselves on this earth that's absolutely right bees bees are in the linchpin of our agricultural system in the united states if you don't have bees you don't have anything that you would find in the produce section that isn't corn or soy that's the bottom line, guys. So when you do see a swarm, do the responsible thing. Call up Don or one yeah. of your local beekeepers and basically just embrace what you got here, which is the beauty of Mother Nature. And this is where it all comes from, guys. A little bit of honey, a little bit mm -hmm. of sugar. What do you think, guys? A lot of people are having these backyard um, bee colonies and bee hives in their backyard. It's mm -hmm. become more of a popular thing. We need them for our flowers and everything else out there. I one time, had a, this had to be 25 years ago, had a producer say, you want to try to make a like a bee beard? You know, you've seen it on TV shows where uh, somebody will put a like a queen bee on their neck, and then all the bees swarm, and it makes a beard. I've never seen it, but you've I can visualize it. No, I would like to see it. It would be amazing oh, I to see I it. Do it. it. Visualize. They said, "Why don't you put one under, put a queen under your chin, and then we'll give us." Hell no.